Exactly. Do the royals actually treat their staff like rubbish? I mean, really? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean. How are you? Nice to see you, by the way. Thank you also for your lovely comments about Coco from Canada, the lovely, my big fan. Yes, I'm sure, well, I'm hoping there are other pets and animals and human beings <laughs> that, that get inspired by the dulcet tones of my voice every morning or every evening, whichever way around you are around the world. It is truly nice to have your company. Seriously, but what a lovely picture, don't you? I always find dogs watching TV funny, don't you? Because you kind of think, do they understand, you know, what are they watching, you know, what are they looking at? It doesn't matter, does it, whether it's the theme tune or something. They seem totally engrossed and you think, maybe you're enjoying this better than me. I think maybe Coco's probably a very good liar. Margot's probably sitting there thinking, I'm bored rigid, but Coco's just too polite to say. Yes, but thank you seriously for clicking onto that video. If you haven't, just have a look at it on the panel. I think it will cheer you up in these very depressing winter ahead times over here, particularly if you're in the United Kingdom with Storm Babette. Now this story, let me just very quickly, I wanted to sort of let you know the true story behind this, because as we know recently, His Majesty the King, King Charles III, hosted a reception um, at uh, Windsor, take three, now this particular story I really just wanted to share with you and let you know exactly what goes on behind the scenes because as you know His Majesty the King recently hosted a reception to thank everybody for the coronation and the concert and all those who assisted in our late and wonderful monarch Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. You know, it's kind of moving in many respects because of course you get to meet the people behind the scenes as well as some of the celebrities that uh, were vital in that particular day. But what's interesting here is there was a, also a very big speech uh, given by His Majesty the King which has been once again uh, mislaid, taken the wrong way, all the usual stuff and nonsense, you know. But the bottom line is certain royal reporters basically say uh, that His Majesty the King, you know, will have courtiers, which he does have, private secretaries, equerries, that sort of stuff, who will write the speech. Now, this has gone on for centuries, you know, basically. And the only thing I can align it to, you know, just to let you know, is this. If you're a best man at a wedding, or indeed a best lady, whichever way it is in this modern society, you know, you might write a speech and then you say to a friend, don't you, does this work? Or would you say that? Is that too much? Should I not? All that sort of stuff. That's exactly what goes on behind the scenes. You know, there's no two ways about it. And particularly in bigger events, you know, cultural events, world events, His Majesty the King may pull upon people to sort of say, look, you know, what do you think to this? Am I hitting the right tone? Or or, you know the right sort of level here now certain as i say royal individuals have been basically claiming that he takes the speeches say of six people screws them up and writes his own as i said the true story behind this is that he solicits opinion as does the queen queen camilla and her majesty the queen uh, before them everybody did the same thing so this once again has been misconstrued to make it out that actually his majesty the king treats staff abysmally we know that's not the case and that's not me just siding but as i often say i started this channel for the balance of fairness and truth and you know really it is just somebody looking and saying do you think this is working so whatever you read reading out there, whatever reports you're hearing, that is the true story. His Majesty the King, alongside Prince William, Catherine, everybody in the royal family, we all do it, every single person asks an opinion. Just because you may only use elements of that particular speech doesn't mean your hard work goes unrecognised. And as ever, isn't it good to get the truth out there? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.